Hello my dolls and welcome to another vlog here on the Cello Doll YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, I really wanted to talk with you all about practicing and the age old question, how much should I practice? The answer is not as simple as a one universal number. So I really wanted to talk to you guys about that and how my view and time I've spent practicing has had to change and adjust. So before I get to this backstory, please give the video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. Every subscription, every doll is adored and super appreciated, and it really helps my channel to reach fellow musicians who might need some of this advice. And if you wanna go above and beyond, I do have a Patreon where you guys Guys can get monthly VIP rewards that you won't find anywhere else and you can find that in the description. So practicing, we have to do it. You will love to do it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so when it comes to practicing, I am gonna break it down into three major life stages that I've gone through. First is your bachelor's or undergraduate, then your graduate, experience that could be a master's a diploma and then your professional life when you are done with school for the foreseeable future and you want to start working and performing and all those exciting things your needs in these three stages will definitely change and that does affect how long you should budget practice time so I wanted to begin this practice room storytelling back in undergrad when I was 18. And when you first start college, it's almost like you go through another psychological form of puberty. You're away from home, you have so many more responsibilities, and especially as a music major, you have to budget in practicing, rehearsals, homework, classes, there's so much time management. And I definitely <laughs> had some times where I didn't really know what I was doing and I was scrambling to fit everything in. So when I was in undergrad, I was practicing about five to six hours a day. Now keep in mind, this did not count rehearsals, my private lessons. This was five to six hours myself alone in the practice room. And then on top of that, I had those other playing commitments. I'm gonna tell you guys the moral and lesson of this video early because I'm gonna repeat it a lot and it's so important. Quality, practicing, it's so much more productive. It helps you maintain a busy schedule and still feel like you're making progress. And it is so much more important than an arbitrary number that you can say you achieved. Looking back on my time in music school, I'm often reminded of those flamboyant, colorful birds you see on National Geographic. They're dancing and they're flaunting their feathers. And it's just like when people would say, I practiced six hours. Well, I practiced seven hours and I practiced eight hours. No, <laughs> do not get caught up in that because at that point, are you practicing for yourself? You should always be practicing for the sake of yourself to prepare for your lesson, to prepare for a gig. Your practice time is for you and not to prove anything to anyone else. Remember that, file it in there forever. Your practice time is for you. The efficiency of it, the quality of it, that is gonna benefit you and that's the most important thing to focus on. I really wish I had focused on that in undergrad. I would have been a lot less stressed. When you're in undergrad, the main goal is to train on your instrument and learn how to be fluent in it. It is really super educational, hardcore training, but that was really my goal for those four years was to go in that practice room, improve. I was just woodshedding all the time. <laughs> like I'll do another vlog about how I sneaked in a bunch of practice time because there are some tricks to it too because undergrad your schedule 
That's the busiest I ever was in school, was undergrad. And I was so focused on practicing as much as possible because I felt like I would improve as much as possible. And I really should have taken more time to figure out how to practice effectively efficiently and strategies on how to practice. So what I would love to tell you dolls is talk to your teacher about it. It will save you a lot of stress. Be honest, say, I'm concerned about practicing and I really wanna make sure I do it well while keeping up with my studies and my rehearsals and your teacher will be so proud of you and you will look like such a mature little bean coming in and saying you value your practice time. So the second stage was my graduate studies when I was getting a master's degree and I just earned my diploma and I graduated very recently. So when I got to this point in my education, I started realizing I'm not gonna be able to practice five plus hours a day because you start thinking about your career and networking. So I did do some networking and some gigs in undergrad, which I highly recommend, but I really invested more time into that once I had gone into my master's. It doesn't sound like something super time consuming, but it is because you have to do emails, lots and lots of emails. You might have to rehearse with a group of people for a gig. And lastly, with my most recent degree being in New York City, of course, I was really wanting to gig and network and perform. At the same time, I started becoming a lot more aware of the physicality of my playing, investing more focus into playing health. Once I started going above seven plus hours of playing, practicing lessons, rehearsals, everything involving Chelly all put in together, I started thinking, what can my body handle in a day playing cello? If I have a two hour orchestra rehearsal on Strauss, I'm not gonna be able to go woodshed in the practice room for five hours. So what I started doing was using rehearsals as a chance to practice body awareness. And I would say I was able to get in about four hours a day. And this brings me to my final life stage of your professional life. And I'm making this vlog for you dolls and I'm also making it for me because I'm having some practice room anxiety. This is the first time in a long time I'm not in school. And I'm kind of sitting here sometimes thinking, what do I do? I, I don't have a lesson coming up. I, I have recordings and I have gigs, but, but, but what do I do? Going through school, practicing was what I did for myself. It was my pride and joy. It was showcasing the love for what I did because I spent hours and hours training, persevering, and it does become a security blanket. It really does. Having to let go of that a little bit can be very scary. So again, in this context of being a professional, think about what are your needs for the practice room. It's no longer a weekly lesson, but it could be a recording session, a gig, Maybe you wanna give a recital, and then the times you're not practicing, you're working, you're doing what you love, you're networking, you're looking for opportunities. So right now, while I'm figuring out this professional life balance, I am going to personally aim for about two hours a day, maybe three if I have a big performance coming up, but. I gotta remind you dolls what the other time is spent on, especially becoming a content creator and really committing to Cello Doll. I edit all of my audio. I have to do all of my emails to collaborators and pursuing other opportunities. I have to edit all of my videos, all of my posts for social media. I have to schedule all of that out. And I also teach and have a private studio. 
So when you start piling all of those commitments together, oh, in addition to composing and arranging for my videos, which I really love doing, but it does take up a lot of time. I could keep practicing and practicing and practicing till my heart's content, but is that going to propel my career forward? And over the course of these three stages, I've learned how to practice efficiently and what works best for me. And in undergrad, or if you're currently an undergrad, you are setting such an important foundation for your future. So I will trust myself. You dolls have to trust yourself too. And I hope this helps some of you dolls, especially if you're just starting out at a conservatory and you're unsure of what to do about practicing. This is me sharing my story. If you would like to hear more about it, leave some comments down below and I would love to hear what you dolls are curious to learn about and I'm always happy to share with you. And lastly, I have to say this one more time, don't focus on a number. I know I just gave you guys a bunch of numbers, but it's more to show you guys the growth and the efficiency I was able to get as I got older. Just indulge in your own practice time, focus on that and focus on what you need to get done to be the best musician you can be. Fierce, powerful, owning it, be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is The Cello Doll, and in addition to YouTube, you can find me on Instagram as well as Facebook. Consider checking out the Patreon below in the description, and I also teach and give consults. So if you're interested in that, you can find my email address below as well. I'll include it here. And I look forward to seeing you dolls next time for our next video. Bye!